Anyways, uh, yes, new hair. We're wearing a headband, it matches my shirt. This was not planned, but it is indeed a vibe. And that vibe is I'm trying to not wash my hair every day. So I bought a pack of headbands off of Amazon and now you're gonna be seeing these a lot probably until my hair gets used to uh, not everyday shampoos. So today we are going to be doing my Marina IUD update. I will link my original video, which included me vlogging the process of it getting done, my immediate reaction, and then I think it was like three weeks later all of that kind of like first impression stuff I'm gonna link it down below this is about a year and a month later so I've got all of your questions all of the things that you guys had in the comments of that video that you wanted updates on and we're just gonna dive right on into it and if you are going to get the IUD I do suggest that you watch my first video so you kind of understand the process of the insertion and the right after pain because that's not something I'm going to cover in this video this is strictly like updates all that kind of stuff so I guess kind of jumping off of that I do remember the pain and the anxiety of the insertion but it's so like not a forefront part of my brain right now like that is to say if in three years I want to get another like form of birth control I will be getting another IUD because the pain and the anxiety of the insertion which lasted probably like 20 minutes altogether like the anxiety is definitely worth going through again to get for me the relief of being protected sexually and We'll get to the period thing in a second, but it's also worth it in that vein as well. That being said, I would go in more prepared this time. I think I took like a Advil before. It would definitely hurt, but if I had taken an Ativan or something and I didn't have any anxiety, it would have been like painful and annoying, but like fine. I would take two or three this time and I would also take an Ativan or something to just make sure that I'm a little bit more chill and I would also eat something light beforehand, which are all things that I did not do and I think would probably change the game. Um, I definitely had an anxiety attack where I was very lightheaded and sweaty and warm and felt like I was gonna pass out and also felt like I was going to shit my pants and it was just, <laughs> It was not a great time. So going forward, I have tools that can help to prevent against that and I'm going to invoke them. So let's talk about spotting after. That was something that you guys wanted to know about and I was one of the very, very lucky ones where I think I spotted for like a couple days, like just very, to the point where I could wear a panty liner, like the same one all day and it would be like, oh, a couple drops of blood. That being said, it can last for months and it depends on your flow it depends on you as a person like it just i've had friends who were spotting and basically had their period for six months and then you guys wanted to know about the strings and there's a couple parts to this like checking for your strings making sure that the iud is still there the fear of it coming out using a menstrual cup because of the suction because you do hear that sometimes like the menstrual cup can pull out the iud and then also sexually does somebody feel your strings so i check for my strings in the shower with clean hands just go up there like once a month sometimes i can feel them sometimes i can't and then i'll just like do it every couple days until I feel it um, and then as far as using a menstrual cup goes just to prevent like suction taking it out when I when I go to take the menstrual cup out I push against a side to break the seal which is how you're supposed to do it anyways right to remove the menstrual cup it's just a lot easier but that breaks any sort of suction and allows it to come out a lot easier than just like trying to pull it out and then sexually does your partner feel your strings and like the answer is sometimes yeah like for me my partner has mentioned it like three times after sex being like felt them today and it's not really a big deal it's not really something that he's like like, and it was disgusting, watch that shit. But it's also not like, oh, I was such a turn on, I felt your IUD, like it's just, I felt it. And it's like, oh, okay, cool, thanks for the report. You know what I mean? Like it's not a big deal. You can always go back to the doctor and get them to cut your strings a little bit shorter if you want to, but it's really not an issue for me and I don't want to make the doctor's appointment. And then re-watching the video, something that I had almost completely forgotten that I was worried about, but I was really worried about in that video, was the potential of breaking out. Going from the pill, getting off of those hormones, getting the IUD, getting on whatever hormones are there, and also your body kind of kicking back into working order. Sometimes you can break out, go through like a second puberty, right? So I was really concerned about that because for 
basically my whole life I'd had pretty good skin with the exceptional like hormonal breakout around my period and that really like would fuck with my self-confidence to be honest like whenever I had like big kind of cystic pimples that came up around my period that was a big blow to my ego and that was something that I personally was very concerned about but I am excited to say that oh my god I thought there was a spider on the roof that would not be exciting to say Oh my god, you guys almost just saw me have a fucking mental breakdown. I didn't really notice any big changes in my skin. So, that being said, different for everybody. Like, I am truly just reporting on my experience and my updates, and just because I, you know, wasn't spotting for a really long time doesn't mean that you won't go through that. Just because my skin didn't really change doesn't mean that yours won't. I don't want you to watch this video and feel like, oh, well, nothing happened to her in these situations, so I'm fine. And then get your IUD and be like, what the hell? Also, people were asking about mental health changes. And I gotta say, again, I have been fairly steady in terms of my mental health. I'm somebody who has generalized anxiety disorder, confirmed, diagnosed, and I am on medication. For it, I take 100 milligrams of aposertraline daily, and I'm on Ativan for situational anxiety, and I... My, my anxiety has been pretty steady, like pretty under control, and I think that a lot of that... I, I really don't attribute any of it to the IUD. I attribute it a lot to being in therapy on and off throughout the years, building up tools to deal with it. The medication really helps me kind of have that control of my anxiety, and... I haven't noticed any changes at all of my mental health that I would attribute to the IUD. That being said, it is important, I think, for everybody to know that some people do report being more susceptible to depression or being more susceptible to different kinds of things that could affect your emotions and affect your mental health. So just be aware, keep an eye on it. I know for the first like two or three months, I was doing a lot more checking in with myself mentally and I was doing a lot more journaling and I would look back on that and just kind of see if there were any changes just so I could report it to my doctor if there was anything and I didn't find anything really. Okay, and let's get into period stuff. So before I got my IUD, since I was 14, I was on Yasmin for like two or three years and then I was on tricycline low because Yasmin got recalled because of, I wanna say blood clots. I'm not entirely sure of that, but something. Something I got recalled, my doctor switched me. And I, was admittedly quite irresponsible in taking my birth control because uh, I just didn't give a shit. <laughs> because I wasn't sexually active for a time and when I was, we always used condoms and like it, it was just, my period was always pretty regular anyways and I'm just bad at taking pills. <laughs> like to be honest, I forget a lot. So it, it wasn't something, especially being in now a long-term relationship with my partner, that I would be super comfortable as being protected by, you know, having unprotected sex without condoms, which is a video that's coming up, unprotected sex. But I, I wanted something that was going to offer more of a steady protection that didn't rely on me remembering something because I simply sometimes do not. Also, it was incredibly regular and I do attribute that again to being on the pill because like I had a 28 day cycle, I could predict with absolute accuracy that my period would come here around this hour and I had like a tampon in ready to go and now <laughs> it is not that. My cycle went from about 28 days to according to like my um, Fitbit app it's like a 50 some day cycle now so I'll get my period every month and a half to two months which is sick it's awesome the cramps are a little bit more intense for me but that's coming from somebody who did not have basically any cramps the day before my period and the first day of my period now my cramps are pretty I mean not severe but like much more severe than what I had and also my period lasts around four days it didn't get heavier it didn't get lighter and it is easy enough to tell when it's coming like I just when I start to feel kind of crampy I just start wearing panty liners and then I'll use a menstrual cup when I know it's here so overall with all of this stuff all of these things a year later is it worth it to get an IUD and for me the protection that it offers against becoming pregnant and the slightly longer cycle and the fact that I don't need to sit here and remember to take a pill which I'm just really bad at uh, yeah it is worth it. It is worth the insertion pain 
it is worth the like anxiety that came along with that for you know that 30 minute span it is worth the concern and research that i did prior to getting it it is worth tracking my mental health for the following couple months just to be safe because i knew that like i'm very prone to being really anxious when i don't know what's going on with my body so i tried to combat that and it is something that i will continue to use for the foreseeable future and i will get this one taken out when it's no longer usable and I will get a new one put in. And I also think it is nice to not have to go to the pharmacy and pick up pills. And also I have found that it saved me money. I was paying probably, gosh, like a couple hundred dollars a year for birth control pills. And that was like partially covered by insurance. And then I paid probably like a hundred dollars out of pocket for this. And it's going to cover me for five to seven years. But that is it. If you guys want a follow up, if you have a specific question on something that I didn't touch on, please let me know. I will do a follow up. Uh, not in a year from now. I'll do one a lot quicker if you have questions. I love you so much. Let me know if you are on an IUD, if you enjoy it, if you have anything that you think I should have talked about, anything that like your experiences differ from mine, because I think it is, again, important to just kind of cover an array of experiences because mine aren't maybe typical of what will happen to you. So just read the comments if you're about to get it. I will link my original video down below and there's a ton of awesome videos on YouTube. You can get a ton of information. So just keep checking it out, keep doing your research and overall like you know what's right for your body. If you get it inserted and you hate it, you can always get it removed. And that's my advice. And that is this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 400,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So make sure that you share this video with your friends. I love you so much and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.